In regards to Kindle, I think the question I get asked the most is not only is the new Kindle good, it is, Mike, there's so many of them now, which one should I buy? Which one is right for me? So I thought, you know what? Black Friday is coming up, the busiest shopping day of the year. Some folks might be looking to know which Kindle I should buy. So let's go ahead and talk about the differences and which one I think would be best for you. Hey, what's up, bookworms and bibliophiles? Mike back with one last Kindle video, I hope, before the Kindle Color uh, inevitably comes out. I'm going to continue to say that I know that the Kindle Color is eventually going to come out. But like I said, guys, there are lots of people messaging me wanting to know what is the difference between all these Kindles and which one do you think would be the best for me? So I said, okay, let's go ahead and take a, a look between these and kind of compare and contrast. Maybe we can figure out which one is the best for you. Lots of people maybe looking to make the change from physical reading to digital or, hey, like me, they're doing both. You know, I think it's fine to do both. I have no problems with either. But hey, if you're looking to get into this device, which I think is absolutely wonderful and you want to know which one to get, let's go ahead and talk about this. Now, we're going to talk about five different versions of the Kindle here. Now, I think because there are so many different versions available right now, we're going to talk about each one, what they can do. But if you want a more in-depth breakdown, check out all the individual reviews where I go into it. I show you how the things work and I show you exactly what you might be looking for in that particular model. So maybe use this one to help you narrow down what you, what you want and then watch those to get more details about each device because it's not going to be a full-on device, uh, device review for all five of these models. And we're going to talk about the Amazon Kindle. That's just the standard, regular Amazon Kindle. We're going to be talking about the fourth generation Paperwhite, which came out in 2018. We talk about the brand new 2021 fifth edition Paperwhite. We talk about the brand new 2021 Paperwhite Signature Edition, and we'll be talking about the Kindle Oasis. So uh, those are the ones that we're going to talk about. Let's begin, guys, with the Amazon Kindle, the only one on this list I haven't actually owned yet. In case you don't know, I was still reading off of an iPad at the time because I thought, why do I need to pay for an individual reader that my iPad can already do? But you know, there's lots of reasons which I talked about in that video where I made the switch from iPad to Kindle. But with this one, I did not get it because of that reason. Now it is $89, has four gigabytes of space, uh, battery life of up to four weeks. It uh, backlit, it has what they call um, pearl e-paper. As far as what these mean, guys, I can't tell you. I can just tell you how crisp it looks. It looks fine, it looks fine. Six inch screen, uh, Wi-Fi, but no 3G mobile support. And I, I think that the screen is not as crisp, obviously, as some of your other versions. And look, honestly, guys, it's a little sluggish by comparison to the rest. I have actually gotten my hands on a couple of them were side by side in a display in a store. And I was doing the thing where you do the switch to swipe at the same time. It is much more sluggish. It's very much like almost that, that first generation of the Nook that Barnes & Noble put out. I don't know if you guys remember that. That was my very first e-reader, by the way but very uh, uh, sluggish by comparison with the rest of the things on this list here. And look, it's going to be, it's, here's the biggest thing. It's, this, it's the same price as a fourth generation Paperwhite, the one that uh, I got first. So uh, that right there is like, well, why am I going to get this one when we could talk about the next one, which is the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. Fourth generation came out in 2018. This one is also now just $89. I got that one right here. Uh, this was the one where I made that big switch from the iPad to this one. Served quite a purpose. I Lots of mileage on this. And then my wife's been using it. Lots and lots and lots of usage out of this. And this bad boy is indestructible. I've dropped this thing we've dropped it in a pool we've dropped it in everything you can think of uh, i'm pretty sure my kids dropped it in the trash can once but that's a different story that i don't think you guys care to hear same deal four gigabytes of space almost double the resolution though of the standard kindle so right there you're like same price point why am I going to get that first one? So again, I think this is going to be the best place if you're looking for the cheapest entry this is going to be the place to get it battery life of six weeks wi-fi and 3g support but here's the thing guys about the 3g support I have heard rumors that that's going away in December, that it's going away. They're no longer going to support it. So I don't know if that really matters to you. I don't know. Really, guys, look, I'm at the point where, like, I have enough books on mine that I have no need that I've got to have a 3G hotspot or something to buy a book on the on where I'm at because where are you at now where they don't have a Wi-Fi connection somewhere probably? You know, so I'm always like, I I'm fine with that. But if that's something that's important to you, you might want to look into that. I don't know about uh, 3G support. They're moving to 4G support, 5G support. I have no idea what's going on with that. But it does have it 
for the next month at least, but uh, Backlit, this one uses what is known as e-ink, which is what gave it that very crisp feel and made it look like you were looking at a real physical book page. It was just kind of a monumental difference moving from the iPad to that, and I loved it for that reason. Six inch screen, super sharp, guys. I think it's so much clarity that you will see like, wow, it's like I'm using my eyes again for the first, like I'm wearing glasses and I don't need them. This was the first model that was waterproof. Now, again, waterproof with that, I'm always scared to drop mine in the water. I don't know, that's just me, I, I feel like I know that that's something that they've graded for, but I'm still a little too scared to do it. But hey, you do it by accident, like I just mentioned, that's a great thing. Uh, not as sluggish as a standard, but you know, compared to the other ones on this list, it's going to seem a little archaic. So with this one, I think you're gonna get what you pay for at the $89 price point. Now, moving up a little bit in the dollar range. Now, this we're gonna be moving on to the brand new fifth generation Kindle Paperwhite, which I just reviewed on the channel. Um, last week. Now look guys, I don't actually have that one here with me because my wife, uh, she keeps it with her. So she's using that right now. So I don't have it to, to hold up and show you, but again, watch that video if you want me to show you a little bit about it. But $139, that is with ads, $159 without ads. Uh, again, call Amazon and have them remove the ads. They'll do it. Uh, don't pay to have the ads removed. At least that's my experience. Uh, eight gigabytes of space on this one here. The big thing with this is the resolution and the processing speed are on par with the Oasis. It is just every bit as technologically as awesome as the Oasis now. Uh, the thing is it has a it has a, 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 a 6 a 6.8 inch screen now. So it went up a little bit from the last one, but still not up there with the uh, Oasis screen yet. Doesn't have live buttons or anything like that. But I'll get to that when I get to the Oasis. This one is LED front lit. So there's that. Battery life of 10 weeks. It is the first Kindle guys to have USB-C charging. So if that is important to you, you like being able to use all your multiple chargers or one thing for not have to get a brand new plug, a brand new charger. You know, it does come with one, but again, I'm pretty sure you probably got this cable already. So that seems to be important to some people. Wi-Fi, no 3G support. Again, 6.8 screens, I said, also waterproof, offers warm lighting. Now this was the game changer for me going from the Paperwhite to the Oasis. The game changer was that warm lighting. You had no idea how much that helped me. And it's one of those things where I said, you'd be reading in bed, you'd be reading the Paperwhite. You know what, you put it down, you go to sleep. Uh, your, your brain still has to stop working for a little bit before you're able to go to sleep. With this warm lighting, for whatever reason, it does not mess with your brain that way. At least it doesn't with my brain. My brain might be wired differently than yours, probably is. Uh, but uh, with that, as I will close this book and boom, I'm out like a light immediately when I want to go to sleep. So I think the warm lighting is great. Uh, it does not have auto brightness, so you, but you do have the option to put it on timers. So say you know from eight to 10, you want the warm light to kick in, you can set it to do that every day so you don't have to go in and do it. But again, guys, these are like two, two touches and you're able to adjust that. So I don't think it's really a problem. But again, the biggest thing, guys, here is it is every bit as technologically awesome as the Oasis in a slimmer package. So I think that is going to be the sweet spot for some people. Let's talk about the Amazon Kindle White, uh, Kindle White, the Paper White 5th uh, Edition. Now, this is the signature edition of the 5th Generation. This is the one they released at the same time here. Now, this one is 189. Now, there is no option. You don't have to pay to have ads taken off. It's just 189. That's it. The only difference is it has everything that the one that I just talked about has. Everything there. Everything. Just as awesome. Except with this one, you have 32 gigabytes of space. So if you do a lot of audible audiobooks, I think this is a great idea for you. All those same features as the previous, but this one has auto brightness and i said with the oasis the best thing about it was that the auto brightness they finally got it right on the paper white you could be out in the sun and the auto brightness and it would just still be bright as day it would not really notice with the oasis it seemed like to me in my experience it was perfect no matter what the lighting around you is it always adjusts just perfectly so i think that's a, a great great feature if you're looking for that and this is the version that offers wireless charging so if you have become addicted to wireless charging i think that that will be worth the extra change for you if you're going for it here and price is not really an object to you. And let's talk about my personal favorite. This is, of course, is the Kindle Oasis, the one that I have been using for the last year. Now, this one is $249 with ads, $279 without ads. Again, guys, don't pay to have these ads taken off. Just order the ads version and tell them, I want the ads taken off. I spend a lot of money with you because who doesn't spend a lot of money with Oasis, by, or I'm sorry, with Oasis, with Amazon at this point? They'll do it, guys. They, they don't care. They're making money hand over fist. They know that a lot, a lot of people know about this. So hopefully an Amazon exec doesn't watch this 
video. And this comes in two versions, eight gigabytes or 32 gigabytes. Again, it gives you that option. Uh, equal resolutions to the new Paperwhite. So uh, that used to be like the big selling feature on it was the resolution and the processing speed just completely blew away the Paperwhite. But now they've made the Paperwhite be just as awesome. So uh, I don't know how that's going to hurt the sales of the Oasis at this point. I mean, do you really feel like you've got to pay that much more just because this one has live buttons on the side, just because this one has auto brightness, just because this one, uh, you know, has a, that's about it. You know, it doesn't really have much else over it. It has a bigger screen. There you go. Bigger screen and live buttons. Is that that much of a price increase for you? Hmm. It's going to kind of depend on you. Now, why Wi-Fi uh, wi and 4G support on this one, LED front lit. This one's called a uh, uh, Carta e ink. Again, guys, there are other tech channels out there that'll tell you what all these things mean. All I'll tell you is it is crystal clear. It's like you're looking at a real book. That's always been the selling point for me. Offers the warm lighting, and again, the auto brightness is just perfect. Seven inch screen, as crisp as any digital screen I have seen out there. You're not going to find one, I think, any better, at least not at this price point. Battery life of only six weeks, but again, guys, I think that just depends on you. Depends on how much you read. Uh, I read off this thing uh, at least an hour or two per day, and I charge it once a month, if that. And I'm also the type that when it gets down to like 60%, I feel like I need to charge it. I've never had this battery die on me on one of these before. So uh, again, that's one of that, that's that's on you. If you're an idiot like me and you think you always got to have everything at 100%, yeah, you know what? Just keep it keep it plugged in at night. You know, that's the best place to do it. So I think not only the biggest selling point is being the bigger screen, the seven inch screen, but also the live buttons that turn the pages. I think that everybody loves these, but for me guys, the power button being on top is the best part because I read like this a lot in bed and with the paper white, the power buttons down here, I always find myself turning it off and you're like, oh, who big deal? It's like, it's annoying, okay? All right, it's idiosyncrasy that I gotta talk about because people wanna know about these things. Why is it so hard to put the power button on the top? But look, this design isn't going to be pleasing for everyone to hold. Now it has the groove here to where you can hold it with one hand if you want to, but it's not as easy, I think, as the paper white where it was just really just, it was so light, it was just in your hand, no big deal. This one, you try to hold it like that, just kind of depends on your hand size. But again, uh, this one is not going to be ergonomically as pleasing for everyone as I think the paper white is. But again, if you get used to that groove, it's not so bad. But of course, you got a flip case like me. Oh, what do you know? You just covered up. You just covered up the groove. So I think that might be uh, something to think about when you're looking at buying a case for this one. Uh, it's difficult to hold with one hand, like I said, and there is no USB-C charging or wireless. So that's something I think that will go into it. So again, guys, a big question, which Kindle, should I buy? Now look, this is my opinion. This is gonna kind of depend on you. I'm gonna kind of give you some scenarios here to kind of see what fits with your lifestyle. Now, if this is your first Kindle, I would recommend going with the brand new 2021 Kindle Paperwhite. 139, I feel like that's a, a price range. It's just right there in the middle, just good enough. Not too expensive, but definitely not what I would call cheap. Uh, but it, it, I think that this is your first one. This is gonna be the best for you because again, it's the most powerful Kindle out there on par with the Oasis. You don't have to worry about any sluggishness or feeling like, oh, this just feels like very last generation. Everything feels very sleek and new and fancy. And I think that'll be the place space would go for you. Now, if money is no object, I still got to go with the Oasis. I love the auto brightness. I love the live buttons. I didn't think that the live buttons meant that much to me. But when you're really into a book and you're going like this, swiping across a screen and it won't do anything, and then all of a sudden, boom, then it jumps, it gets really, really annoying. So I like having those live, button, live buttons now. I think that it gives you the best overall experience. I think the Oasis overall is the best overall reading experience for you, all things considered when it comes to screen, when it comes to screen size, when it comes to everything except, I think, holding the thing. And again, power button on the top is a big, big deal to me. If you want to keep it under 100 bucks, guys, look, the fourth generation paper white is going to be a steal for you at this point. I mean, they were selling this thing for, you know, 160 bucks a year ago. So I think that the fact that this is $89 now, you can't lose with just this paper white. Yeah, it's going to be a little slower than the rest of the models, but again, it's $50 cheaper. So really depends on you, I, I think there. But again, if you're on a budget and you want to keep it under 100 bucks, I think the fourth generation paper white is going to be exactly what you're looking for. But if wireless charging is a big, big deal to you. If auto brightness is a big, big deal to you, the new Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition will be the one I think that fits your fancy. Now look, I don't see any reason, guys, zero reason at all to get the standard Kindle at this point. If it costs the same as the Paperwhite, what's the point? It has none of the all same features. It's slower, it's sluggish, and the resolution isn't as good. That one is obsolete. 
that is pretty much, hey, uh, I've got one of these laying around. Do you want it for free? That's what those have become. When you got another one, that's just going to get phased out. They're just still selling it because they've got some sitting in a warehouse somewhere, I believe. But um, yeah, look, it just comes down to two things. It comes down to cost and the screen size. What is your budget and how big of the screen size do you need? If you're on a budget, again, the uh, original Kindle paper, not the original, but the fourth generation paper white that you can still buy for $89. It's going to be right there for you. If uh, if, if you, you got a little bit more extra cash, but you're not quite ready to go Oasis, go with the brand new Kindle Paperwhite 139. I think that that's a great, great device, and it is super, super speedy. It is slick. I love it. That's why my wife cannot put it down now. Just talk about the differences because she's been using that last Paperwhite for the last year and using this one now. She's like, wow, this is like almost like getting a brand new car. You know, so it's, it's kind of got that feeling. It's, it's, the upgrade is very, very noticeable. But if you've already got an Oasis, I don't see any reason to downgrade to the new Paperwhite because I I feel like it, unless you just really want that slimmer screen size, I don't see any reason that the Oasis isn't still king of the mountain. So if price is no object, guys, yeah, obviously I'm going to go with the Oasis. If you want the live buttons, if you want the auto brightness, you want the biggest screen available, that's going to be your big ticket winner. But guys, I hope this has helped you decide which one of these awesome, awesome devices that you want to buy here for the holiday season. I think this is a great time to get one are starting to become more affordable for everybody like i said being able to get one of these devices for under 100 bucks is a great great deal it's just it's become a part of my life now where i don't i look when i'm in a chair or i'm at my desk or i'll, I'll be reading the physical copy because i love to read out of physical books i do but when i'm in bed and you read big doorstop or fantasy books the last thing you want is falling asleep and one of those big boys to smash you in the face don't smash your face get a kindle because you know what if one of these fall and hit you in the face not that big a deal it's, it's, it's like things are light as a feather so i think you'll be just fine so if that is a problem for you that's another thing to consider so guys i'll drop links to all of these below uh, it helps the channel out if you click one of those links if you decide to buy one i would definitely appreciate it so guys that is all of the kindles that i think that you should make the choice between do you have one of these what do you guys think drop in the comments and let me know let me know if this helped you make a decision because i hope that it did. Happy reading, guys.